There's a famous argument among the rabbis regarding when Passover really begins. Some suggested the 14th of Nisan and others the 15th, both groups quoting verses from the Torah. Of course, Jewish law is clear in the end that Passover is the 15th day of Nisan, but the argument itself is of interest. If we look at the symbols of the Passover Seder, we notice that each of them has a positive and a negative meaning. Take matzah, for example. Matzah can mean lechem oni, the bread of affliction, which we mention at the beginning of the Haggadah. But we also learn in the Haggadah that matzah is positive because the Israelites were willing to go into the wilderness with no provisions, with just a little bit of matzah, because they trusted God. Haroset, too, can be symbolic of the mortar our ancestors used to make clay bricks while they were enslaved in Egypt. But Rabbi Akiva said that haroset is a reminder of the Egyptian apple orchards, where Hebrew women secretly made love to their husbands and bore children, thus defying Pharaoh's ban on procreation. It all depends on your perspective. The rabbis who said that Passover begins on the 14th day of Nisan were stressing the negative. They focused on the horrors of Egypt, the idol worship, the suffering, the bloodshed, and said that only by reflecting on that negativity can we attain an appreciation for everything we have today. But our practice is to focus on the positive, on how our ancestors never gave up on their belief in God, how they always believed that things could and would get better. With our second Passover during the pandemic, this has been a most challenging year. When we are positive about our faith and our God and our community, we're able to persevere through these challenges. Perhaps that's why the rabbis wanted Passover to be on the 15th day of Nisan. That is the day when we demonstrated our belief and trust in God the day on which we demonstrated our greatest optimism. Notice that even though it's a commandment to tell the story of the exodus from Egypt at the Seder, we do not say a blessing during the Seder over that commandment. We are not interested in making a blessing over slavery. The idea here is that our Judaism cannot survive by only stressing suffering. If we are to remain Jewish, it will be because in spite of our suffering, in spite of this difficult year, we still believe. But there is a different blessing that we will say, not over the recitation of the Haggadah, but because we have arrived, the blessing of Shehechayanu Vikimanu Vihigianu Lazman Hazeh. It is a blessing of gratitude. We look around us, spring is beginning, the trees and flowers are starting to bloom, the vaccines are being administered, our shul has reopened. School is open, and we are still here. So thank you, God, for sustaining us, for giving us life, and for enabling us to reach this Passover. Amen. Chag Sameach.